Hey guys, welcome back to Ellen Beauty. My name is Leah and today is going to be a little bit of a vlog style. It's going to be something a little different. Um, I have no makeup on. My hair is in that messy bun. I'm in some like workout clothes and everything. It's just, you know, everyone's staying inside anyway. So um, why put on a full face of makeup? <laughs> um, but anyway, today's video is going to be a kind of a vlog cook with me. Um, I'm going to be making dinner, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of film and take you along. I'm going to be making my personal favorite, which is Kung Pao Chicken. Um, if you know me and you know me pretty well, you know that I really hate cooking. Well, hate's a strong word. I really dislike cooking. <laughs> so I like dishes that are super easy, that don't require a lot of work. So this one is an easy one. It's a simple one, and it's also pretty healthy. Okay, so for ingredients-wise, like again, don't... Don't mind all of my mess on my counter right now. You are going to need some chicken, um, a rice cooker if needed. We prefer using our rice cooker. This is actually a rice cooker that was given to us for our wedding, and this year will mark 12 years that we've been married. So it is still going strong. You need some sort of peanuts, honey roasted peanuts or regular dry roasted peanuts will work just fine. You'll need your Kung Pao stir fry sauce that you can find pretty much at any grocery store. We are going to be using jasmine rice for this dish. I like to have two bell peppers, kind of more on the colorful side. I prefer red, but right now I only have um, the yellow and the orange. And then two zucchinis, and that is all you need. Okay, so I'm going to start by just doing two cups of rice. And I'm going to lightly estimate this since I am kind of holding the phone. I love these containers. Does anyone else have these containers that you're just like, boop, and it's done? <laughs> And then I am going to take my water and do two and probably two and one fourths cup of water um, to the ratio to my rice. I'm going to stir everything together and then close it. Push white rice. I love rice cookers. This one's also been dinged from how many times we've been moved over the years too. Okay, so I'm going to start by cutting up my vegetables first. I'm going to cut up my bell peppers and I'm just going to do a little simple um, bite size cuts, nothing too large or anything. Okay, so for the, um, the zucchini, I'm going to cut it down in half and then cut it into pieces because you want a good little size to them. So take off the ends and then I like to cut down the middle and then make your slices. So once you have all of your vegetables all cut up, I just kind of put everything aside in a bowl. And now we're going to cut up our chicken. I really like this um, Harvest Land chicken that I get at the store. I like that it has no antibiotics ever and it's just you know, hormone free and everything. If we are going to do chicken, I always go with this one. So now we're going to cook everything all up into bite size. I like to use my wok um, for cooking this. This is just a simple wok that I actually got from Ikea like a really long time ago and it's been working fine. So I'm going to put the rest of our chicken that we're not using into the freezer and then I'm going to cut these up. Okay, so now that I have all the chicken in the wok, I'm going to set the temperature kind of high, but I do like to add some of the crushed red, pe red peppers to it just to add a little bit of spice. So I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit of that on and then start to just kind of cook up my chicken as my, you know, walk moves around like crazy because I'm doing this one-handed. But we're going to cook our chicken, see how they're just kind of bite-sized? So this is going to cook up and then we're going to set it aside after it's done cooking. So of course this dish would be good if you want to substitute chicken for like tofu or just do vegetables with your wok. Um, that would be good too, but we just like it with a little bit of chicken. But yeah, you can kind of personalize this you don't have to follow me exactly, I just thought it was kind of cool to kind of follow me along as I make dinner tonight. Alright, so I set all the chicken aside and now I'm going to dump all of my veggies into my wok and start to really kind of mush everything and mix everything together. So 
you want to saute these, um, you don't want it to be too mushy, but you want to mix them kind of periodically during this time and just cook them um, almost all the way and before mush, and then you're going to add the chicken again. The thing with this dish, and especially with these veggies, is to make sure nothing burns or anything. You just have to constantly be stirring it and mixing it around. Um, but it's pretty quick. It doesn't take that long for these vegetables to cook. So it's a nice little bonus because this is this meal is just super easy. I like things that are easy. I don't like confusing meals. I want something that is on the table quickly while being still healthy at the same time um, that my boys will like too. And so I have twin boys who are three and they'll eat a little bit of this, which is a plus. So now that this is cooked down pretty well, I'm going to add my peanuts. I had just a little bit left on this one, so I'm going to sprinkle some whatever I have left over in this and then sprinkle some more. I like a lot of peanuts in my Kung Pao. Obviously, if you are allergic to peanuts, this is not your dish. <laughs> I'm just going to sprinkle a generous amount on, kind of give it a little stir. And then I'm also going to add back my chicken, stir everything together. So yeah, once everything is stirred together, I'm just going to add my Kung Pao sauce. Like I said, you can find this pretty much anywhere. And you're just going to kind of spread this on top, kind of all over. So once this is all mixed together, I'm just going to turn down my heat just a little bit and let this just kind of stir or just kind of sit a little bit, marinate, get all those flavors everywhere, stirring it occasionally. All right, so now that my rice is done, let's assemble this because everything is all completed. I have my bowl, so I am going to add just a few scoops of rice. I am going to move over to my dish and I'm going to generously keep a little bit of that on. I think the zucchini is definitely my favorite part of this meal. So I'm trying to grab some of that zucchini. So I do like to top it off with some sesame seeds. I have some white sesame seeds here and sprinkle a little bit on top. This is my dinner for tonight. This is Kung Pao Chicken. It was super easy, super healthy. Um, you can tweak it however you want, but this is probably one of my favorite meals. Feeds the whole family. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. So yeah, I, this is my completed dish. I am excited to dig into this. I am hungry. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. It's very different. I did this with my phone. So I'm sorry if it's a little shaky, kind of vlog style, but I thought it would be fun. You know, we're all kind of stuck inside. It'd be fun to kind of watch you kind of make dinner along with me. So I thought that was kind of a different idea. Um, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and share if you haven't already. Comment down below if you're interested in seeing a little bit more vlog style or cooking or easy meals because I'm all about easy meals or, you know, different things along those lines, a little bit more lifestyle. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.